We have to talk about NEO and battery swapping and the latest updates regarding Europe. And Europe is a good keyword because right now I'm traveling through Europe right now here in the UK. And before that I've been in Italy in Milan and I was at the Milan Stock Exchange. And actually that has to do with grain shares. You may know Brandon Ahern, which I had on the channel before. Um, crane shares, they are currently touring Europe and doing a road show and I've been attending, I went to their events like connecting uh, with the team but also with um, bankers, investors interested in China. And if you're interested into that then check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Dongxi, the link is below in the description. And if you become a patron you will get this behind the scenes footage and also the speeches by Brandon Ahern, by uh, Xiaolin Chen and by the actually former US ambassador to China talking geopolitics, Taiwan and stuff like that. So I thought that was really interesting and was really cool to um, meet Brandon in person. And now back to um, Neo here who are also on a Europe tour because you, as you can see here um, CNAV Post is reporting that Neo's first battery swap stations are rolling off the factories in their Hungary plant and this has just been announced by the end of July right that they're gonna open this factory now it's open and you can see here a ceremony where actually some interesting faces are here so the co-founder of Neo um, is on board as well as Shen Fei who is um, actually the head of Neo Power that was quite a surprise for me to see that he's also um, with the others here with this delegation here we see Hui Zhang by the way I also have an interview with with Hui Zhang on my Patreon another reason to join and um, yeah he um, is uh, they are all in, in uh, Hungary now it seems and celebrating this very important milestone because to be honest you know NEO has some sort of delays there they were planning up to 20 battery swap stations in Norway only two are operational right now and um, it seems there have been some issues with scaling I mean the battery swap station are massive you don't ship them just from China to Europe and there might be issues also with regulation like, like getting uh, the places where they can establish the battery swap stations and actually they were aiming to getting 20 up and running and in total of course 1000 in Europe um, that's part of the 4000 overall worldwide and as we know in uh, China they already have 1000 battery swap stations which are well adopted over 12 uh, million swaps if I um, recount that one correctly so huge user adoption actually even a, a higher one in Norway where I think more than 90% of people are choosing uh, to get their NEO with um, the battery as a service subscription and so this important separation between vehicle and batteries is what NEO has innovated which is the innovation of their business model but also the chassis in the car and is also kind of a frequent dispute uh, among EV lovers and EV haters basically <laughs> also um, saying that battery swapping really doesn't make much sense. And here's something that we need to discuss which rather coming from the Tesla V4 superchargers so the latest version which is obviously going to charge even quicker quicker and um, yeah it's like the latest setup of superchargers and interestingly so um, like in the announcement it was about um, uh, uh, stating that increased deployment of energy store uh, storage and solar power um, would come along with those new superchargers and I'm really welcoming this because I think it's you know first of all Tesla energy I think hopefully will become a very big business and um, it's really nice to get um, yeah, sustainable with solar power and being yeah the combination with um, yeah power storage um, and uh, grid balancing. I think is really a superb idea, especially in energy crisis that we currently are going through. And now you know what does it mean if they say they will increase the energy storage deployment? Um, well that is actually kind of taken away one big argument against battery swapping because usually people tend to say like well battery swap stations they have lots of idle batteries sitting there like up to 13 batteries that are not being really used right they're not sitting in a car and although I always have argued already that this is maybe around 5% of the fleet so 
kind of you know one month of production if you will um, it's not really um, a super high figure um, some people actually thought like for each battery you need to hold another one in the battery substation which doesn't make sense at all so it's actually a quite low number and um, but still yeah it's an additional invest but now you know looking at that Tesla is even also using batteries so that's energy um, storage right um, in order to um, build their new superchargers uh, that actually you know uh, kind of removes the argument that those batteries sitting with the neos and wasting battery capacity because essentially tesla is going to do the same thing with their superchargers there and the reason is because superchargers need a much higher peak load um, that means um, when whenever like all of the stalls are occupied and people are charging super fast it's putting lots of stress on the grid and so they kind of you know need to buffer a little bit for that because sometimes you have the issue that um, you know the, the charging is getting slower if all of the grid uh, all of the stores are occupied and um, additionally that's also an issue for the superchargers they can only be built at places where high peak power is available and then on top of that the solar thing you know using renewables to charge um, the, the batteries and later on give it into the cars that's an additional function that um, they can use there and so battery swap stations are essentially doing the same thing uh, only that um, batteries can actually um, be charged at a lower um, speed and also a preferable temperature within the battery swap station and battery swap stations actually don't need such a high peak um, load uh, from the grid because they can just charge lower and additionally with the separation between the chassis the vehicle chassis and the battery uh, what NEO has done is here to divide the ownership of the vehicle and the battery um, between the user and the company and that's the only way actually that enables a so-called vehicle to grid or um, yeah kind of the interchange between the grid and the battery because otherwise you know as a private owner you don't really want um, that the company is kind of deteriorating your, your battery over time um, and you possibly not making money on it but NEO instead they can uh, kind of uh, charge the batteries um, at faster speed and take off some uh, steam off the grid when energy is cheap and uh, additionally can give it back into the grid or into the cars neos that are coming and swapping in it in um, when um, for example the cost is high and so make an arbitrage on the trading of the energy we've seen such a project being launched in China already and neo hiring for that in Europe and so once again this shows the, some of the benefits additional benefits only aside to the aspect of um, that you can replenish power quickly that you can um, you know, upgrade your uh, battery technology that um, the vehicle is unlikely to depreciate in price that much and so it's it's even showing on the battery swapping um, um, unit economics that uh, there are new business models possible that actually supercharging has similar requirements in terms of uh, in terms of energy storage and so I would be pretty confident uh, around the, the, the fact that I think yes there is more investment currently um, necessary for such battery swap stations they might be slightly uh, more expensive than the superchargers um, to build out in the very beginning but over time I do see a case where they can mature and um, yeah get back their costs and break even over time and actually become even a source of revenue and income for the bottom line of the business and not only costing money although that's still something for the future I very much um, support that NEO is investing in this because infrastructure ultimately is also what makes them distinct from um, other value propositions of other car and EV makers and only Tesla and NEO are really um, building their own infrastructure in that sense so that's big news in my point of view uh, regarding the uh, rollout in uh, Europe and then also on you know the facts regarding battery swapping and the feasibility and the cost and uh, the likelihood that this will be a successful business model then let me know what you think personally about that in the comments I'm very much uh, yeah looking forward to reading about this and then thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one